What's up homies and homieettes and chicks and guys and dolls and men and whatever the fuck. Aliens. Yeah man. I just got here to the Orange Julep and I'm doing this row of cars and a lot of them I'm like, oh what the fuck or it's fucking bad taste or it's weird. And I'm like, yeah. And look at this 73, 74 Chevelle. Very cool. Dual exhaust. Hot rodding. It's got that fucking Cuban blue. <laughs> Or I call it Cuban blue because when you go to Cuba and you see a lot of old cars are repainted this color. I don't know, they might have, must have had a special on that paint or something, you know? Got your old school centerline wheels. Or not just old school, but they're probably old. And It's funny how these cars were a far cry from uh, that 63 Chevy Pal over there. But still, me and a lot of people liked them because they were still stylish cars. They were still big. Still had that GM quality, you know? Uh, well, I don't like those aftermarket, buck, aftermarket buckets, not aftermarket, but those later model bucket seats, but I know why people put them in. It's just so they don't get, you know, pushed around in a bench seat like on the back there. Not a bad idea to have a fire extinguisher in there like that guy does, you know, because old cars sometimes, specifically the wiring, get so fucking old they can catch on fire, you know. But that's the price to pay. That's the risk. Okay. Is that yours? Yes, it is. 74? 73? 73. 350? Uh, it's the LT1 from the 70 that. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's uh, the one with the angle plug heads, the real McCoy. Uh, wow. Uh, 15, nice. 15,000 original miles, uh, balanced, blueprinted. Uh, Fuck, that's cool. gears in the back. You built this this way, I guess? It was uh, my first car, so... Uh, it was your first the, car? Uh, have the fiberglass fender. What was the color originally? Uh, burgundy red. Well, that's funny you should say that because I was going to mention there was a guy who was here a few weeks ago and he had a 75 Laguna that okay. he turned into like a stock car tribute and right. it's really fucking outstanding. I did a video of it too. I got a YouTube channel. My video anyway because I wasn't finished with the front or anything, you know? Well, I like it. I know it's not it's not exactly to your taste, but a lot of guys I'm sure give you thumbs up. They like it. You got your 73 Quebec plate to stay politically correct, you know? Well, you know, I don't. I don't have to tell you about how we live in an exaggerated world today. There's something else I'd like to say about that too, but I'll say it off camera if I remember. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, so this is a Montreal car. How long? How long you say you had this car for? My father bought it. Your in father bought it. Holy shit! Uh, from Harold Cummings, actually, right down the corner over here on Jean Delo and Picard. Uh, so wait a minute, so you always loved it, you said, Dad, I'm, I like this car, yeah, give he, it to me or, or wanted, sell it? He wanted to sell it, Yeah. and I said, I'm going to buy it from him. Yeah. And What's he the said, I'll give it to you. I said, no, I'll buy it the price you're going to sell it. What's and the mileage on it? Unknown it's or? It's a little over 100,000 miles. Really? Just but a little over, maybe 109, something What What'd your like dad that. do for a living? Um, Since you uh, came to the trouble to, uh, you know, show this off, and uh, now it's going to be famous worldwide there, something like that. Yeah, man. You tell me again, it's an LT1, 1970? From the 1970 vet with the angle plug heads. It's a 1970 vet motor, 350, man. Ah, that's music. Whatever they're playing on the speakers is shit. That's music, man, let me tell you. Like listening to Big Floyd or Led Zeppelin or The Doors. That sounds very healthy, my friend. Thank you very much. I know Thank the price of gas is, is, uh, is not uh, no. cheap there, and I don't think I got a feel you're not a rich guy, so uh, you know. I'm okay. Yeah, that's good.